Is your HR career stuck in neutral? We've dedicated a lot of time and energy in this series towards strategies that can help you elevate your role within your organization. Yet, there is an additional approach that can elevate your role. In this episode of HR Party of One, we're going to cover the best human resources certifications you need to earn to add depth and know-how to your HR career. By the end, you'll know exactly how to add more credibility and accountability to your career, which could put you on a track for everything from promotions to raises and more. Today we'll cover why HR certifications matter, great SHRM and HRCI certifications you need to know, and other important HR certification and continuing education resources. Let's get right to it. The human resources industry is growing. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, employment of human resources specialists is projected to grow 7% from 2019 to 2029, faster than the average for all occupations. Knowing that the field is only going to become more competitive within the next decade, HR professionals will want to do everything they can to stand out among their peers. HR certifications can help make that happen. Another consideration is that the field of human resources is ever evolving. HR professionals need to keep up with ever-changing employment laws and industry best practices while also managing day-to-day -day tasks. For example, take COBRA laws. During the COVID-19 pandemic, in the span of 12 months, we went from requiring employees to pay up to 102% of the cost of their healthcare premium to a fully covered subsidy for qualifying employees. That's a lot of change to follow. Thankfully, HR certifications and continuing education courses help teams stay current and compliant with the most up-to-date best practices. Depending on your industry, level of education, and experience, a certification can not only help enhance your organization, but it can also help boost your pay. According to Payscale, the amount of the pay boost varies significantly depending on the particular type of accreditation, industry, work location, and job level. In this case, the more respected the credential, the better. We'll get into the two top HR certifiers in just a second. At the very least, these accreditations add credibility to your name. They show that you've put in the work to elevate your role and your career. Not to mention that you might actually learn something from the HR certification classes or courses you take. Suddenly, you've got more credibility to your name and you're also operating at a higher level. You're adding value to the organization in ways your boss never dreamed. There's no telling how far that could take you. Achieving these certifications usually requires a level of education and or experience to even qualify. Additionally, people usually have to take a standardized exam, which they can study for by using official preparation materials purchased through signing up for the exam. The cost of these certifications and study materials can add up. So it's important to weigh the benefits of each certification and choose the one that best fits your professional goals. Let's review some of the different certifications from both SHRM and HRCI. The Society for Human Resource Management, or SHRM. SHRM offers two different certifications that applicants must qualify for based on your HR experience and education level. The two levels are based on the level of HR leadership you're interested in mastering. They also provide a tool on their page to help determine which is right for you, which I've added to the episode description for your reference. The credentials include SHRM Certified Professional, SHRM CP, SHRM Senior Certified Professional, SHRM SCP. The HR Certification Institute, or HRCI, is the other most respected certification provider, which provides education and experience-based credentials to human resources professionals. These include Associate Professional in Human Resources. The APHR certification is best for individuals who are just starting out in human resources and want to jumpstart their HR career with the basics and need to know information. According to HRCI, this certification is also great for non-HR managers who still manage employees. We also have all of our marketing team members at Bernie Portal earn their APHR certification to add credibility to our communication efforts. Associate Professional in Human Resources, International. The APHRI is similar to the normal APHR, but it's meant for HR managers based outside of the United States. 
professional and human resources. The PHR is a step above the APHR. So this is great for intermediate HR professionals who wanna gain more knowledge and start their journey towards becoming an HR expert. According to HRCI, the PHR certification is a great way to establish yourself in the HR field. It's also the most popular certification according to a survey from Payscale. Professional in Human Resources, California. This certification is pretty much exactly what it seems like. California has a unique set of laws, regulations, and HR practices, so HRCI determined that human resources professionals residing in the state should attain credentialing specific to that state. Professional in Human Resources, International. This credential demonstrates mastery of general accepted technical and operational HR principles independent of geographic region for practitioners based outside of the United States. Senior Professional in Human Resources, the SPHR is the next level up from the PHR according to HRCI. SPHR certification solidifies your credibility as an HR leader. This is best for HR professionals who want to become experts in their field as a senior HR leader. Senior Professional and Human Resources International. Independent of geographic region, the credential complements local HR practices. Global Professional and Human Resources. Finally, GPHR certification is best for HR professionals whose responsibilities expand multinationally. The takeaway here is simple. There are so many different credentials because HR is such a vast, diverse field. If you're committed to this industry now and moving forward, I encourage you to start working your way towards the SPHR level. It will only make your contributions more valuable. If you've already gotten an HR certification but need to stay sharp or earn continuing education credits, sometimes referred to as CE credits, there are plenty of free online resources to help. They can come in many shapes and sizes, so let's review a few of the most common right now. Webinars. Webinars are a great tool to stay current with the latest industry trends and changes. For example, during the pandemic, Bernie Portal hosted several webinars to keep employers up to date about new legislations that passed, including the CARES Act and the FFCRA. In lots of cases, organizations even offer CE credits to people who attend webinars. Our advice? If you see something show up in your inbox, it looks interesting or helpful, and you've got to spare 30 minutes to attend, do it. Professional conferences. Another tactic that HR personnel use to stay sharp is by attending professional conferences. Typically, these one and two day events include keynote speakers, breakout sessions, and other networking opportunities, all of which cover important industry topics that you can use to elevate your role. For example, Every year, Bernie Pirtle hosts Weekdays with Bernie, our annual user conference held in our hometown of Nashville, Tennessee. During the event, we gather some of the best speakers and human resource professionals together to share insight, talk shop, and learn more about the future of the industry. And of course, people who attend can earn CE credits for their time and effort. Continuing education courses. One final way to stay sharp is by taking continuing education courses. More often than not, if you have a SHRM or HRCI certification, you need to renew it every few years. We can help. Bernie Portal's own Bernie U courses offer convenient and comprehensive online HR courses that are suitable for HR veterans as well as newbies. Many of the courses are pre-approved for HRCI and SHRM CE credits, and all of the courses are completely free. The best thing you can do right now for your career is to look into adding HR certifications to your resume. They'll make you more effective in your daily role and empower you to think more strategically about the value you can add to your organization. I've added links to both SHRMS and HRCI certification programs, as well as a link to our Bernie U homepage so you can learn more about how to sign up and what classes are available right now. Each of these will put you well on your way to a more successful and rewarding career path. Remember, your job is as strategic as you make it. That's all we got this time. Remember to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notifications about the latest HR Party of One updates and new episodes. And join the HR Party of One group on LinkedIn. Bye.